so today I am doing a salon tour so it's going to be a complete full salon tour so we've just come in the door that comes out from my driveway obviously this is usually up and there's an open sign on the door and stuff but I'm closed today so that's why I'm doing this video so then first of all on the left when you first walk in we've got my swatch sticks um half of they're both different because half of them are magpie and half of them are blue sky so the ones that are oval are my magpie polishes and then the ones that are square are blue sky so i've got all of those along there i've got rid of quite a lot during lockdown and then over here we've got my color change and cat's eye polishes from blue sky as well and then we've got, I'm not trying to rush it, I just don't want this video to go on for ages and ages. So obviously we've got my desk, so I have my magpie lamp. And then over here I've got my body shop creams. Um, so clients get a nice choice of what kind of cream they fancy and what scent they'd like. So when clients first come in, we'll just do the usual. So we'll go over here they come to this area here which is my sink area so they wash the hands in the sink just ignore this because it's the stuff that needs to go to the tip and i'm waiting for my slot to come so i've just got to wash that as well so in here on on this i'll put a towel and a little brush and obviously everyone gets a fresh one then they'll use my navy hygiene system antibacterial wash when they're finished scrubbing their nails i'll pop the scrub brush in here and then they can use their towel to dry their hands and then coming back over here, obviously they'll usually take a seat at this side of the desk while I sit here. And then my lamp is there. My light is here. That's the tertial lamp from Ikea. And then on my desk, let's move around this side. So this chair here, ignore the sunbed. That is for personal use for my parent, not for me in the salon. So... Yeah, this chair here was from eBay. I can't remember how much it was, but yeah, I'm not sure. So I can't really comment on that. But then down here, I've got... I'm just going to take a seat to this one. So over here, I've got a lot of random stuff, really. So that over there is my aircon unit, by the way, if anyone's wondering. So I always have a brush on the desk. Every new client, like I either sanitise one that I've used, depending on how much time I've got between clients, or I just get a fresh one out for the next client. Then we've got my navy hygiene system to clean my tools i don't always use my tools to be honest sometimes i use my e-file bits it just depends on what kind of nails the client has then i've got my magpie primer because that's the acrylic that i use and then in here we've got tools like tweezers and scissors and nail clippers for cutting tips and stuff like that and then down here these three are navy pro tools and then this one is just a cuticle nipper from ebay hand sanitizer some scissors and then isopropyl alcohol and acetone and then i have my glitter bells sanitizer spray as well then in the drawers i'm not going to go into too much detail with these drawers because i have got a whole video just for these drawers so i don't want to do too much with these so here i've got my brushes like my um my willow academy brushes that are absolutely beautiful and then those ones that i told everyone about in the previous video these there are 12 i think there was no might be 15 i'm not sure 12 or 15 in a set and you get them from amazon and they're amazing price um and then i've got my, all of my willow things so i've got my sanding bands um i've got the black ones and then some of the zebra ones i've got all of my e-file bits from willow in there all of my unbranded e-file bits and then all of my stuff that i use for magpie regularly like top coats and stuff like that base coats and things then my little pots here that's just my remote for my air conditioning unit and then i've got lots and lots of cotton pads in there and then yeah just random bits and bobs i use the most goes in these drawers and then the second one we have got see if we can get some light over here there we go second one we've got lots and lots of stamping items so these are all of my polishes these are poundland polishes those are clear jelly stamper polishes the little cute ones and then over here, we've got all my Blue Sky weekly polishes that I absolutely love for stamping. Got some practice tips here. Some of these little lipstick applicators because they are perfect for cleaning up around the nails. Then all of my uh, scrapers are there. Got some stampers here and some over here. And then all of those books are full of stamping plates. But again, I've done a video on that already. So if you'd like to see all my stamping plates, then head over and have a look at that one. 
And then in here, I have my card machine. I'm now using iZettle instead of SumUp. I'm not going to go into that because I'm not too impressed with SumUp at the moment. Then I've got some sponges, some lint-free wipes, my cleanser wipes from Divine. Obviously, you can see I'm kind of running out of those. I need to get some more. My Cuckoo e-file, my gloves and masks, and then just some antiviral wipes from B&M. So that's that one. And then we've got this one, which is all of the Magpie Core acrylics. We've got tips, and then underneath there I've got the full-on tips. And then I've got all of my tinting items, and then prep dehydrate cleanse, and then some tow ropes for doing gel toes. Oh. And then we've got my bottom drawer, which is a bit of a random one. So I've got palettes here. Um, you've all seen these in videos before, because I always use those. And then gel paints from Magpie, I've got all of their colours, all of the Magpie's inkies. This has just got my gel paints in. Ugh, it saves me having to waste a lot, so I've got a few colours in there to use. And then I've got my charger for my e-file, and then all of my extra Magpie bits. Then, moving on, so we're going to look behind me now. So, on the wall behind me, I have these. So this is the first lot. Let's just get my light, so we've got a bit of brightness in the room. That's better. So then we've got our, well, everything Magpie again. So these are the crystals. I've got all of them apart from one. I think it's the crystal AB ones I don't have yet. So I'm just waiting for those to come back in stock. Then we've got all of the coloured leaf and then all of the foils. The new ones are on the top because they're slightly smaller. And then the older ones are along the bottom. And then over there I've got Moira's um, stamping foil gel. And then we've got full foiled from Magpie as well further up actually no we'll go over here first so along here we've got obviously as you can see glitters along the back and then here we've got all the pigments all the dusts chromes like absolutely everything is along there and then over here we've got the flakes and um, the older flakes and then all the iridescence as well stuff like that and then all those flakes they are all beautiful so we've got all of those i try and keep on top of buying them when new one comes out um and then here we've got uh, obviously more glitters so they go along there and then here in the middle let's just move this it's the wrong date by the way but never mind then we've got shapes on there from magpie as well and then here is more glitter and then on the top shelf is all of the magpie gel colors i think i'm missing three no two colors which is Oh, I don't know, but when I ordered the, the whole collection, two of them were not in stock and they haven't been since. I'm not sure what's going on with those two, but if they do come back in stock, I will grab them. So that's that. And then if I just move back a little bit further, so down here is my, it's a bit random. So in here, we've got my coffee machine, my coffee pod holder like bin. And then here we've got a little mini fridge. So in my fridge, I usually have a variety, usually 7-Up, Diet Coke and water. For anyone that doesn't want a hot drink and then in the bottom here is my cleaning cupboard it's just got lots of cleaning items and a few spare cans and then obviously disposable cups here some sugar in there <clears throat> and then we've got my top drawer of this large one so these envelopes are what i put together before clients come so i've got four clients in like for my next working day so that's why i've got four ready so they have a file a pen and a cuticle pen and then I've got all my hard gels from Ink London down here. Um, and then we've got, that's the things for the extend system. I don't use that because I don't rate it very much. Um, and then we've got all of the Magpies coloured acrylics here. And then my favourite items is lots of lots of Tears Beauty. But you've saw most of them during other videos. And there, were, there was a lot of stuff in my last haul as well. These are the Magpie tips. To be honest, I'm not really getting on very well with these and I'm not 100% sure why. Not blaming Magpie at all because it is probably something I'm doing wrong. But yeah, I haven't used them much so I should probably start using them a lot more to get used to them. But here's some spare cotton pads and stuff like that. And here is just tips. So this is a Glitter Planet parcel. I use their easy tips. They are my favourite. So all just the spare sizes are there. In this photo album from The Range, I have my Magpie stickers. So I ended up having to take them out of the packaging because they bought new ones out that were much bigger, which was really annoying, but never mind. So yeah, as you can see, I've got those in there now. So yeah, because all the Magpie stickers are in there. 
And then I've got this for my decals. I'm not sure which way around it's meant to be. It's that one. So this is a business card holder from Amazon. You can literally get it on Amazon Prime next day for like £2.40. It's amazing. And it's got all of my decals in. So it's got the cheaper water decals like from eBay and Amazon, stuff like that. And then at the front, I've got some beautiful enchanted decals ones as well. So I got the bundle for last month. So I've had the July bundle can't turn this page with one hand um, and then I bought a few things as well and I've got some on the way those two that have just fell out are Moira and even though they're sold why well, can't I pick them all <laughs> even though they're sold as stickers which is really annoying they're actually water decals so just be aware of that then here I've got my files I've just zoomed out by accident <laughs> I'm not doing very well here am I so yeah, here I've got my files, um, I've got magpie ones and then stuff from like eBay, oh I've got nail mate ones as well from Glitter Planet, so there's all sorts of different ones in there. I've got spare tip boxes, lots of spare envelopes and then in here I have two of these full of chrome heads for my magpie dust and stuff like that. And then moving on, I'm going to run out of breath eventually. <laughs> Moving on, we've got this over here, which is like unbranded glitters that I wouldn't even be able to tell you where I'm from. A lot of them are from Smiley's, to be fair, but there's a lot of stuff in here that's just I've just picked up over time from different places. This is the book that I've already showed you. I haven't managed to finish it yet, so I'm not really going to go into that. Lots of swatch sticks of different types, like the oval ones. And then we've got the three-tiered ones from Magpie the square ones and then obviously these floral ones and then random bits and bobs I don't really use a lot of sharpies and then over here we've got all of the magpie flowers which are just stunning absolutely love them um, and then flowers from eBay and Amazon and then magpies tapes so that's that one then at the bottom one, I've basically just got all of my blue sky colours that I've decided to keep. I did sell a lot, but I've got all of these left, so they're all colour coordinated. I basically got rid of the ones that were the old style bottles, because blue sky have had like three different bottles lately. So I've kept the brand brand new ones that have got the colour on the lid and the same bottle, just to keep them all similar. So, I don't know where that chest of drawers is from, I'm afraid, so I can't really comment on that. This thing here in case anyone was wondering is from B&M and it was about £15 so ignore the labels on these drawers I still haven't sorted them out yet so what they say on them actually isn't what is in them so ignore that here I've got a pull out thing of the coffee pods for the coffee machine so that's all that is and then in here I'm not going to open all of them because some of them are just random stuff like that's just got empty boxes from different places like clear jelly stamper and stuff so I'm just going to go on to things that actually have stuff in. So this is my label maker. I use the Dymo Lectra Tag and then I use this, this uh, clear, so it's black on clear tape and obviously just lots of buffers. Then in this one I've got a cash box and then this... Um, this folder has just got all of my, it's upside down, this folder has just got all of my certificates in basically. So that's got quite quite a few certificates in. They, oh God, they build up over the years. So that's that. And then in this one, this is usually full of cuticle oils. I've actually run out at the moment. The last four are in those uh, envelopes that I've already put together, but I'm having a delivery of cuticle oil tomorrow. So I'll have another 30 then. And then I've got random pens and pencils, my book, and then the extend system that like I mentioned earlier, I don't use. In here, I have my favorite little box ever. These are the Wax Fairy, um, what they called wax melts they're absolutely incredible obviously i haven't lit this one just yet but i have lit the lemon lemon sherbet and spring awakening this smells exactly like lenore so if you like a really nice clean smell definitely go for this it's incredible and then there's this one as well which is watermelon which is just a really nice fresh smell and then obviously my max melts from other brands and then i've got these candles which i always rave about everywhere because <laughs> they're so good they're from asda and they're the the wood wick candles so when they burn they make a real nice like cackling sound and it's so nice 
And then I think that's about it because that's just rammed full of um, press-on items and the bottom ones are just like waxing things and stuff like that. So I know it's not the tidiest at the moment and it's not 100% finished because what I want to do over here in this gap is I'm going to have this up which is my um, insurance certificate from the Guild and then I'll have another one up here. I've got the frame for it ready. I just haven't actually designed what I want to go in it yet. So I'm going to have this frame up as well. Um, and it's going to have my social media accounts on it and also my list of what drinks I offer as well so clients don't have to sit and listen to me tells on everything that I've got so yeah that's my room I really hope you like it I am finally really really happy with it it's just how I want it now it's absolutely amazing um, I love having my own space the room is quite large oh I forgot about this <laughs> so over here I've just got my consultation cards here I designed them myself they've also got covid forms in as well and then over here I'm not going to be st storing these like them like this but I will find a way eventually of how I want to have them um these are all the holographic dust a couple of pigments and then there's some foils here uh from the naughty nail fairy that I did in my last haul and then just random bits and bobs like cleanser, dehydrator, a room spray and then my lint roller for stamping and, you know, just the awkward stuff like that I don't really know where to put and then some uh, kitchen roll. And then under here is some boxes. Those boxes are from, uh, oh God, where are they from? They are from Hobbycraft um, and they are beautiful and they fit a lot of drinks in them. So I keep my cold drinks in there. Then I can take them out and refill the fridge. Over here, I've got my magpie aftercare cards and then my business cards. So now I can breathe again. I hope everyone likes my room. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you in my next one, which I'm not 100% sure what is going to be yet, but I will think of something. If anyone's got any ideas of what they want to see, please, please leave a comment or message me on social media. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye.